So, what kind of changes do people want to make in their lives? Would you like to start eating healthier food? Lose some weight. And exercise more? Would you like to quit smoking? <coughs> Would you like to be more successful in business? Do you want to be able to juggle your work-life balance better? Perhaps you're wondering where to from here. What next? Do you have trouble maintaining healthy relationships? Or maybe you just can't find that right person. Do you want to have confidence, be more assertive, really take charge of your life? And there's all sorts of other kind of changes that people want to make. The thing is, you may already have some idea of what you need to do to get the end result. And if not, there's all sorts of books out there that'll give you step-by-step -step instructions of how to get to where you want to go. And yet we still end up staying stuck where we are, not getting the end result. For instance, somebody that wants to exercise more and get fit, they know that all they have to do is make the time and get out there and do it. And yet when the time comes, they find themselves getting distracted, finding other things to do, ways of avoiding what they know they need to do. Someone says, it's easy to quit smoking. I've done it hundreds of times. And still they keep slipping back. There's an old saying that everything happens for a reason. And that's especially true up here. If you want to make a change in your life, you can probably think of reasons why you want to get that end result. And maybe you can even think of reasons why you don't want to stay where you are now. But if you're not getting the change, you can bet that there's reasons why you're staying stuck where you are now. Maybe there's something you gain or avoid by staying where you are. Or maybe if you've got the desired result, there would be some unexpected consequence that wouldn't be so desirable. Using the example of somebody that wants to leave their job and start their own business. If they stay working for somebody else, then they'll have a regular paycheck every week or every month. And that might give them security. Or it could be that if they succeed and actually start their own business, they won't have as much time to spend with their family anymore and their relationships might suffer. That's a fairly obvious example, but sometimes it's a bit more subtle than that. Sometimes these hidden motivations happen outside of our conscious awareness. So how do we uncover these hidden motivations? Well, a really good way to do that is to ask yourself the right kind of questions. You might want to ask yourself, what do you gain from keeping on doing things the way you are now? Or what's the benefit of staying the way you are now? Or maybe asking, what do you avoid by staying where you are now? Or you might ask a question like, what might be the negative consequences of getting that desired result? Or what might you miss out on if you get that? Now at first when you start asking these questions, you'll get some fairly superficial kind of results. But if you repeatedly ask the questions over and over again, you start to peel back the layers, get down to those hidden motivations. You might even want to ask a follow-up question like, and what does that get me that's even more important? And you'll gradually get down to those wants and needs that have to be taken care of. As you go through this exploration process, you may come across some things that you believe about yourself, about the world, that limit you in some way. Maybe a belief that says, I can't do that, I'm not capable of it or a belief that says, that's just not me. Maybe a belief that says, I don't deserve that. Well, the good news is, those beliefs are not truths. You can choose to believe something different. At the Unscramblers workshop, we guide you through a process of uncovering these hidden motivations and limiting beliefs. We show you ways of letting go of old beliefs. We examine habits, your habitual ways of doing things, your habitual ways of being show you how you can use those as a springboard to propel you into really being the kind of person you want to be. All of this is the structure of how you keep yourself stuck in life. And it's the structure of how you make change and move forwards. It's not so much about making any specific change. Once you understand this, you can apply it to any change that you choose to make. It's literally about becoming the kind of person that can easily make change in your life. And this leads to a life of choice, a life of freedom.